This is why Nigel Farage will be king of the jungle regardless. So if you didn't know, the latest series of I'm a Celebrity Get Me Out of Here is airing as we speak in the UK and there is one prominent political figure that is in the jungle. I'm too sexy for my love, too sexy for my love, love's going to leave me. Sexy for my shirt, too sexy for my shirt, so sexy it hurts. Nigel Farage. Now. Nigel Farage has been inundated with offers to enter the jungle for many, many years and he has always turned them down. Now apparently this year the reason that he is in the jungle is because he wants to make sure that the current generation of voters know about Brexit, think it's a good thing and will want to make sure it stays in place. Nothing to do with the £1.5 million that he's being paid by the ITV bosses. Nothing at all. And there is one former contestant who thinks, who also thinks that Nigel Farage will be king of the jungle, Lembit Opic. Lembit Opic, remember he's the guy who dated one of the cheeky girls miraculously. He's also the guy who entered the jungle himself and was an ex-Lib Dem member of parliament. Picture this, Nigel Farage, a 59 year old political heavyweight, perhaps one of the most influential politicians of our lifetime, okay, who's never held office, he is set to swap the toxic bitterness of his political life hosting GB News for the toxic bitterness of the jungle. He's already had some arguments with campmates inside the jungle about his Brexit views. Is is the intolerance that came because Brexit was about immigration, and I remember your poster, yeah. which I thought well, how, I thought it well. was shameful what you did, Nigel. Sadly, sadly, it was absolutely true. What, what are you anti-immigrants? Who told you that? Oh, Who the internet. Told, the oh, internet. well, there we are, then. It must be true. Lembit Opic says this. He is a natural for the jungle. He's about the only person to survive the political jungle without significant injury. He'll find the bugs far less aggressive than his opponents in Westminster. And I think he will win. He said this after Nigel Farage, before he entered the jungle, 48 hours before that he entered the jungle was telling everyone that he was uncertain whether he would go into the jungle. He said this. He claims that he has been offered substantial sums by ITV and, it, and has admitted he is tempted by the mega money offer to star in next month's show. 1.5 million pounds. The former UKIP boss said, I will tell you why. You have got about 10 million young people every night who watch that programme. These are people that may not watch the news or read the newspapers, but they still care about their country. Young people's futures have been blighted and they are looking for solutions. Blighted for the most part, a little bit in part, by Brexit and Boris Johnson's actions and the Conservatives' actions from the past 12 years. So in my mind, if I was to do it, I, was, I would be able to connect with that audience because believe you me, they all watch I'm a Celebrity. There are downsides to it doing it as well. I haven't absolutely made up my mind, but I'm in talks contractually and there will definitely there'll be a definitive answer in the next 48 hours probably trying to get more money and it comes after made in chelsea star georgia best known as tough managed nigel's big money deal after she won the show in 2017 and rtv insider said that it was a first for a contest a former contestant to negotiate a deal for a new contestant everyone wants nuts to see nigel in the jungle nigel is like marmite you either love him or you hate it. Everyone who is involved in the deal is over the moon that Nigel accepted the deal and has gone to the jungle, probably because they get a nice juicy cut of that 1.5 million pounds. But Nigel's appearance is causing a stir. The only reason that producers wanted Nigel Farage on the show was because of his polarizing image, his polarizing political image. He is, like I've said, he is like Marmite. People love him and they hate him. But will Nigel Farage has not held back in camp discussions. People have been loving the fact that he's been direct. When people ask him questions, he's been direct. He's probably one of the most direct people you have in, in media. He's not like Boris Johnson or Richie Tino. He's like, oh, yes, yes. Did you hear about that earthquake today? Well, uh, it was a quake and uh, it, it was on this earth, but no, I haven't, no, not, a, not, a, not an earthquake. It's also worth noting that Farage has previously 
declined plenty of offers to appear in the jungle, plenty of them, expressing concern about the show's potential humiliating nature. We already know that they are cutting his view, view time, but like I said, underdog. It's probably the same reason why people voted Brexit. They know when people are doing dirty tricks and they want the guy to win even more. You've got to let these people destroy themselves. Give them as much airtime as possible. Let him say something terrible and let him destroy his own reputation. Dude, like Boris Johnson. Boris Johnson destroyed his own popularity with the whole Partygate scandal. But Nigel isn't like that because there are not that many skeletons in Nigel's closet. Is Nigel a honest, unhubrous type of person where he, he does address you directly? He directly tell, he tells you exactly why he did what he did. They're, they're okay with it. Fair enough. Is he racist? He says he's not because of this, 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 and this. Fair enough. That's all we want from our politicians. Questions with straight answers. And Farage joins the ranks of other political figures who have joined the jungle. We are forgetting Edwina Curry, the person who had an affair with John Major. Stanley Johnson, Boris Johnson's father. We had a Labour Scottish leader at one point who then left her job as Labour Scottish leader after she entered the jungle. And who can forget Nadine Dorries, perhaps one of the most liked Conservative politicians we've ever seen. What This is why I think Nigel will win the jungle. He is a popular guy. GB News, his own page on Facebook, are running immense marketing campaigns. They are marketing saying that he's not having enough screen time that the edits are harsh they showed nella confronting nigel on racism they showed fred confronting him on brexit in general he addressed them directly he dealt with the problem head on we forget that he's been living in a political snake pit for decades he can handle he can more than handle these people whilst i may not agree with some aspects of brexit and the consequences of brexit I do believe nigel farage to be quite a you can respect the fact that he campaigned hard for many years for Brexit, he campaigned against elements of the Maastricht Treaty, the Lisbon Treaty, and so on. He fights for what he believes in, and I respect that, despite some of the consequences of Brexit. Now, do I think he can win the jungle? Yes, of course I think he can win the jungle. He's, he is a very popular guy, he's a popular candidate, he's popular in the jungle, and he's been quite honest, and people love that. His Bush took trials, straight in, straight in the mouth, there's no fuss, he just gets on with it and I think that's why people will see Nigel Farage in a new light they'll be like actually he's not a bad guy he's quite a nice guy and they'll vote for him he'll win and he'll be king of the jungle but if he doesn't become king of the jungle officially with Anton Deck crowning the poor guy he will win the political hearts of people throughout this country like his goal of emboldening a new political vision will win out he will win over people's political hearts people will see him in a new light and his popularity will grow regardless he'll be king of the jungle regardless do you agree with me do you think nigel farage will be king of the jungle do you think he may not be king of the jungle but his aims of becoming more politically popular will have one out. Do you agree with that? Do you agree that he will be more popular after the jungle? Or will it be like Matt Hancock? He appears on the SOS program or I'm Celebrity and his popularity actually gets worse. Now, do you agree, popular or worse? As always, thank you for watching the video. You are incredible. Don't forget to like and share the video. Helps the channel grow immensely and it has been growing immensely thanks to you guys. Thank you for watching the video. Remember, make love, not war. See you guys next time. Did you like the video? Then hit the subscribe button or watch some more videos. It helps me out with the YouTube algorithm and helps the channel grow. Thank you very much.